this is a permutations probability question for leaving cert higher level students. In how many ways can the letters in the word Scotland be arranged in a line? To answer this question, let us create eight tiles, one for each of the letters in Scotland, and imagine how many choices would we have for each position. The first letter could be any one of the eight letters, so we have eight choices here. The second letter, we have seven, then we have six left, five, four, three, two, one, etc. The fundamental principle of counting says we multiply our options. Eight multiplied by seven, six, five, four, three, two, one is called eight factorial. So if we took out the calculator, we could write in eight factorial and we evaluate this. And we see that it's 40,320. If we write 8p8, we would get the same answer. In part B1, in how many of these arrangements do the two vowels come together? An effective strategy here is to treat the two vowels as if they were a single letter first, and then we'll consider both ways we could arrange them. So this time we're going to create seven tiles, one for each of the letters, including this single double vowel letter, if you could imagine it. Okay, and now let's think how many options do we have for each place? So we have seven for the first, six, five, four, three, two, one. So these are the positions we could place any of the letters, including this double vowel. But any one of these could be the double vowel, and it could happen in two ways. It could be OA or AO. In other words, we need to multiply this using the fundamental principle of counting by the two options we have for the vowels, or if you wish, that we have two choices for the vowel in the first position and one choice in the next position. So the solution to the, this question is seven factorial multiplied by two factorial, or seven factorial multiplied by two. So again, we take out the calculator. And the solution to this is 10,080. In question B2, how many of the arrangements begin with the letter S and end with two vowels? Let's again imagine we have eight positions or eight tiles and consider our options for each of them. We know it begins with the letter S, so we only have one option for the first position. We're going to group the last two positions together. The two vowels have to go here. So in one of these tiles, we have two options. And in the next one, we have just one option. So there's two times one or two options here. How many letters are left? We've used up three letters. So there's five letters, then four, then three, then two, then one letters left. The fundamental principle of counting says we multiply our options here. In effect, our solution here will be five factorial multiplied by two. So again, we take out the calculator and evaluate two times five factorial. And the solution is 240.